Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to explore an Arduino Baseline Wave Generator Circuit and Essential Application in Inverters, Motor Control, and Signal Processing. This circuit helps convert digital signals from a microcontroller into a smooth sine wave, making it suitable for various real-world applications. Let's get started. In my hands, I have an Arduino board that has been programmed and a fully assembled inverter board. Now, I will proceed to connect the two boards together. The inverter board is designed with pin spacing that perfectly matches the Arduino board, making the connection simple and precise. The interface pins are securely linked, ensuring proper signal transmission. The circuit uses an H-bridge to drive MOSFETs combined with a ferromagnetic transformer to convert voltage. The transformer is connected to the circuit board via plug-in connectors, allowing for easy installation and convenient testing or component replacement. The power supply for the circuit ranges from 11.5 volts to 13.5 volts, which ensures stable operation and keeps the output voltage at an appropriate level. There is a small switch on the Arduino board used to turn the inverter on and off. Now, I will start the inverter and we will check the output voltage. As you can see, when the inverter is running, the output voltage is around 120 volts. Next, I will connect a fan as the output load, then observe its operation and examine the output waveform using an oscilloscope. The waveform is not perfectly smooth, it has some distortion with a frequency of around 48 Hz, but overall, it is still functioning properly. If you like this inverter, stay tuned for a detailed tutorial that I will share after my video introduction about my partner, JLCPCB. JLCPCB provides easy, affordable, and reliable PCB and PCBA solutions, empowering electronics engineers to develop projects efficiently. With 19 years of PCB manufacturing expertise since 2006, running five cutting-edge in-house factories and serving over 5.48 million engineers in 180 countries and regions. Order PCBS from JLCPCB effortlessly. Upload your Gerber file to get instant quote and order in minutes. It's as easy as online shopping. PCB customization, component sourcing, stencil manufacturing, and high-precision assembly all in one place. Get 1 to 8 layer PCBS for just $2, efficient large-scale production reducing costs and bringing you unbeatable prices. Quality and lead time is reliable. All in-house production, ensuring quality stability and strict quality control in every process. Rapid turnaround, lightning fast PCB production in just 24 hours. Don't miss JLCPCB 6-layer PCB special. Get $30 off with a coupon and enjoy top quality 6-layer PCBS for just $5. Plus, to you enig finish and no engineering fees for via and pad. This is APCB from JLCPCB, received one week after I uploaded the Gerber file. I have shared all the related files and you can download them from the description of this video. The PCB looks sturdy and well made. The top side clearly displays the component values, making it easy for you to assemble the components without any confusion. The inverter consists of two main parts, the Arduino board at the bottom and the MOSFET control circuit at the top. They are connected through pin headers. Both boards are designed with similar shapes and dimensions to ensure a visually appealing look. The IR2103 chip receives control signals from the Arduino and then controls the H-Bridge MOSFETs. The MOSFETs used include IRF3205 or 80170. Additionally, 
The circuit includes a bridge diode to convert AC to DC, which is then sent to the Arduino board for output voltage regulation. There is also a power jack on the board to turn the inverter on and off. Besides that, other components, such as resistors and capacitors, are also present. This is the process of soldering components onto the circuit board. Be sure to follow the correct order. Start with low-profile components like resistors, then move on to other components, such as control ICs, followed by capacitors, and finally, the MOSFETs. This is a small tip that I hope will be helpful to you. Common components like resistors and diodes are widely available and can be easily purchased at electronic stores. This is the transformer I am using, which was taken from an old UPS. You can use any transformer with a 220 volts input and an output of 7.5 volts to 8.5 volts with a power rating of around 300W. The voltage supplied to the circuit ranges from 10.5 volts to 13.5 volts, which is the safest minimum and maximum range for batteries. You can adjust the Arduino code to match this protection voltage range. Thank you for watching the tutorial on making an inverter using Arduino. I hope this video helps you in your project. If you found it useful, please like, share, and subscribe to support the channel and stay updated with future videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.